Hello everyone. Um, this is Lutfer, the course coordinator of GSBS 6144 Financial Institutions Management. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download data from FAXA for your group assignment. Okay, so first of all, I will share the group assignment document to explain what data you will need for this assignment. Okay, so I think you have already had a chance to look at this assignment document. Um, so the title of uh, your assignment is Risk Exposure of Large Commercial Banks, a Comparative Study of Australia and China. So essentially you need to collect data for some Australian and from Chinese banks, as well as you need exchange data and interest rate data, okay? So the main idea of the assignment is that how different risk factors, for example, market risk, interest rate risk, exchange at risk, how these different risk factors affect uh, the stock returns of different banks, okay? So for example, for Australia, you have Commonwealth Bank of Australia, National Australia Bank, West Bank, and Australia New Zealand Bank. For China, you have Industrial and Commercial Bank of China, China Construction Bank, Agricultural Bank, and Bank of China, okay? And for interest rates, you need uh, three month treasury bill rates, and for exchange rates, you need um, China and USD exchange rate and Australia and USD exchange rate, okay? So these are the, these are the data you need. So first of all, I will show you how you collect stock price data, then uh, exchange data, and finally interest rate data, okay? So let me stop share this one and um, let me share this, okay? So to download data from Faxet, first of all, you need to log into Faxet, okay? So you just need to Google search Faxet login, and uh, you will get to this login page, okay? Uh, if you do not have access to Faxet, you need to let me know. Um, I can organize your access to Faxet, okay? So once you have a Faxet account, you essentially will uh, get uh, an username and password for accessing the Faxet. So uh, Faxet, uh, ID, user ID, essentially will be the name part of your uh, Newcastle University U, uh, email, and then it will be faxet.net. Okay, for, so for example, for my case, it is mdlutfer.rama, then it will be faxet.net. Okay, and then um, you will be given a one-time password when your account is created and uh, using this password, you can access and then you can change your password. And keep it in mind that it is a two-step authentication, which means that you need to uh, put in your username and password and then you will get um, an access code in your UN email. And as you use that access code, you will actually be in Vexen. Okay, so I have done this uh, already to save time. So once uh, you get access to Faxet, you will see this page and you need to click launch. So Faxet launch, uh, and you will go to this Faxet page, okay? Um, so once you are in, you are ready to collect data. So you can see in the top, you have markets, company, and watch list. So I will go to company and security, right? Okay, so you are here. And then you can see that there is a search bar um, here in the extreme left uh, top. You need to write down the name of the stocks you are after, okay? So for example, um, for Australia, we have four banks, so
Commonwealth Bank of Australia. So you can see that Commonwealth Bank of Australia, you need to, you need to carefully select uh, from this drop down menu. You can see that is Commonwealth Bank of Australia is sponsored ADR. So we are not looking at ADR, we are looking at equities, right? Because we are looking at stock price, okay? So you can see ASX, this is important that you check that it is in ASX because um, some of those companies may be cross-listed in other stock exchanges too, okay? So you select this, Commonwealth Bank of Australia. Another thing you need to do is you can see here single, so you need to make it multiple so that you get multiple um, stock prices. Uh, the next one, for example, National Bank of Sorry, National Australia Bank. National Australia Bank. So once again, it's National Australia Bank's ASX. So we select this one. Okay. So similarly, you need to select um, the Westpac Banking Corporation and New Zealand, Australia New Zealand Banking Corporation. Okay. Uh, so they will come side by side. The next one is, for example, um, Industrial and Commercial Bank of China Limited. So in this industrial and commercial bank of China. Uh, once you do so, you will see that you have class H shares and class A share. And also you need to check that it is SHG, which is Shanghai. So we are looking for the stock prices uh, of the company which is listed in Shanghai Stock Exchange. Once again, as I said, that it might be cross-listed in other exchanges too, okay? So for example, this one is Hong Kong. We are not looking for Hong Kong. We are looking for Shanghai Stock Exchange prices, okay? So this is Australia. Uh, this is Industrial and Commercial Bank of China Limited. And uh, the next one is China, Construction Bank, uh, once again, China Construction Bank, you can see Shanghai, so we select this one, okay? So similarly, you select other two banks from China too, okay? So these are individual stock prices. The next thing you need is um, the stock indexes, okay? So for example, for China, uh, you need SSE Composite, I have already selected this one for you. So as you select SSE Composite, um, it, will be, it will be added. So you see SSE Composite is here. And also uh, you need an Australian Stock Exchange, which is S&P ASX 200. You can see this, S&P ASX 200. Okay. So essentially, uh, you have uh, two uh, Australian banks, two Chinese banks, and two stock exchanges, uh, two stock index prices are here, uh, but don't forget to add other banks uh, too. Okay, so you have, you can see that you have um, the stock prices. Okay, then you select what you need. So you need price data. So that is already selected. And uh, you need monthly data and uh, you select uh, local currency because you need you need local you need the data in local currency okay so this is uh, what you have okay so for example this is up to 31st december 2021 okay Um, the one point you have noticed that for in some cases, uh, no data is here, okay? So you have a sample period specified in your assignment, which is January 2005 to December 2021. So you need to collect data from January 2005 to December 2021. But for some of the stocks, if data is not available for the entire sample period, it's okay to estimate the regression model for only for the period the data is available, okay? 
And also uh, you can select here, you can see that uh, how long you need the data. So you can uh, say custom range. So you can put your start date and you can put your end date. For example, I already have put 31st January 2005 and 31st December uh, 2021. So uh, you can change you know, the range or the period for which the data is necessary. Okay. So once uh, you select all of them, and then you need to click this download and new spreadsheet, so you get this data. Okay. So I will show you um, this Excel spreadsheet soon uh, with the stock price data. Okay, but before that, uh, let me show you how you um, get exchange data too from this platform. So uh, to get the exchange data, you need to go to markets and you can see FX, FX is for an exchange. Okay, so you need to select historical. Okay, and uh, you need to select instead of performance, you need to select time series. And uh, you need time series data and you need monthly data. So select monthly, end of the video is fine. And also you need to select for how long you need the data. So let's select 20 years. Okay. Um, unfortunately, you cannot select individual exchange data that you need. Um, so you can see all the exchange ads are here. Um, and uh, it's from 31st October 2002, um, 30 September 2022. Okay. So what you do is uh, once you have this, you uh, once again, you download this data. Okay. Uh, so you get this exchange of data. Okay. So let me let me stop here um, and let me show you the Excel spreadsheets, how the data would look like, okay? So first of all, let me bring it here. Okay, so I think you can see uh, the stock price data that I have downloaded previously. So let me delete this one because we don't need this graph. Okay, and this too. Okay, so now you have the data you can see. S&P SX200, China Construction Bank, Industrial and Commercial Bank, National Australia Bank, Commonwealth Bank, SSC Composite Index. So these are all the data we downloaded. Now, don't forget one thing that these are the price data, but to estimate the regression model, um, I will show you uh, how to estimate a regression model in a separate video. So you need the return data, okay? So from this stock price data, you need to calculate return data. So return data can be calculated as, uh, I'm showing you quickly, so for example, you, you put an equal sign, today's price minus yesterday's price divided by again, um, today's price minus yesterday's price divided by yesterday's price. So we fill up the bracket, okay? So this is the return data and if you just double click this, you get all the return data. Okay, so for each of the banks and for each of the market indices, you need to cal calculate this return data to estimate the regression model. Okay, so that is um, the stock price data that we got. So I stop share, I stop share this one and I uh, break the exchange of data, okay? 
So this is the spreadsheet I downloaded now for the exchange data. Okay. Now for the exchange data, as I said that um, you can see all the exchanges are here, but we don't need all these exchanges. We only need um, Chinese uh, USD data and Australian dollar and USD data, right? Okay. Uh, so what you do is, and also you don't need the data for, uh, 2022, so I, I delete I delete them. So you select them and control minus in the keyboard. So you get December 2021. And also you can see that you have data from October 2002, you don't need because you should have data from January 2005. So this is January 2005. So I delete uh, that data before that. Okay, so now we have uh, the data from January 2005 to December 2021. Okay. And the next thing is uh, we need data for, uh, as I said, that. So we don't need the data for Europe. Also, we don't need the data because of e currency. Uh, this is um, AUD USD data, so yeah. So this is this is a AUD AUD USD data that we need, right? And this is our USD CNI one data that we need. Okay. So I get rid of all other. Okay. Right. So I defeat. And also you can do one thing, you can select all of them, shift, control, right arrow, and then you copy them. And for example, paste a special transpose. Okay, so now you can delete all of them. So now you have these dates and you have these exchanges. So you have the data in the same format. Um, that your stock return data are, okay? So keep it in mind that for each of the banks, you need to have this data, a stock return, exchange it, um, market return, and um, interest rate, so that you can run the recreation. Okay, so this is how you um, get the data from FactSet and you organize the data. So let me stop here. And about the interest rate data, as I said, that you need uh, three months treasury bill rates. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You will see that I have provided the links uh, to get this interest rate data from uh, the website of Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis, okay? So you, you simply use the link to get the data, for example, you see here. So uh, use the below links for China, this is the link, and for Australia, this is the link, okay? As you, as you go to this link, you will be able to get this data. So let me show you very quickly. For example, um, I, have, I am first of all copying the link for China. So I do this and I put the link here. Okay, you are, you are straight away in the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis website. Then you can see uh, that uh, three month or 90 day rates and yields of treasury security is total for China. And um, you can see that you can uh, set the date or the sample period for which the data is necessary. And then you need to click the download. So you get the download. 
you get the data you need. Okay. And again, if I if I copy the link for Australia and if I put it here. So you can see that three month and 90 day rates and yields, bank bills, it's total for Australia. So once again, you set the debt for which the sum for which the data is required, then you download the data. Okay. Uh, so you see that you have three different spreadsheets, one with the stock return data, one with the exchange data, and one with these um, interest rate data, but you have to merge all this data for individual banks, okay? So for example, um, for bank A, you have stock return data, market return data, uh, then interest rate data, exchange data, okay? So for each bank, all other data will be the same uh, because market return, interest rate exchange, rate, they will be the same for each bank in a country, but individual stock return data will be different, okay? So once you have this data for each bank, you, you may have one sheet in Excel spreadsheet for each bank, and you can organize this data to make them reading for estimation, okay? So I think uh, that's all I wanted to show you how to get data for uh, your return assignment. So uh, have a go, um, check if you if you can do this um, all uh, the way I have showed. And if there is any issue, any concern, don't hesitate to let me know. Okay, thank you very much.